Hello friends, my name is Pavel Gailens and we are sharing on this video blog about our relationship with Jesus Christ and how it's amazing and simple and encouraging. And the title of today's devotional is My Rights and Privileges. You know, when you and I, we approach, for example, our marriages, our families, friendships, body of Christ and world in general in the light in this kind of light, like of my privileges and my rights, you know, be sure you'll get offended and even you can become very, very bitter. But when we approach, we have a different approach, approach uh, which says my calling and my personal responsibility, then you may not get always what you want, but you will always get the God's best for your life. You know, I just you know, for example, you know, when I'm a married man, and you know, and I know what I what I want, what I need, and uh, I, I have my expectations. This so, so is my wife, and if we both come into the marriage with our expectation, living by our expectations from each other, we will we will really we will really be in trouble. But when I know my calling and my responsibility, which God has appointed me in in this relationship. And my calling is to be the head of this of this uh, marriage. My calling is is my responsibility is to love my wife as Christ has loved her. That's my calling. It, uh, it's not my job. Uh, her responsibility and her calling is her responsibility and job, but not mine. So therefore, I'm 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 entering into this relationship with what I know God is expecting of me. But if I come with my rights and my privileges, then there will be some trouble. Of course, we have rights and we have privileges, but they go after our calling and our re personal responsibility. And you know, it really helps us to kind of uh, take a really a sound look, uh, the look from the standpoint of God's sacrificial love, where it's not I first, but it's what God is uh, expecting. And when I put this first, I see, you know, God's heart in the situation, and this heart is the heart of a servant, the heart of a master, the, the heart of someone who demands, is a person who always counts and demands his rights and privileges, and we know that this is a trouble. So it's beautiful when we come into the body of Christ, the family, the marriage, just relationship with people, we know our calling and personal responsibility. And we'll, we will see how God will use that, will use us through that to, this, uh, to the needy world and needy people. Well, may God bless us to do that. Amen.